We're joined now by Nancy Studi. Thanks so much for joining us today. And what role do the AC division journals play? What's the impact of them? Well, they give the divisions a specific place to showcase the work that's being done by faculty and researchers in that particular area. Mm -hmm. And it gives the faculty, especially new faculty, a yeah. place to look for, you know, how do I teach this class? What have other people done? What results are they getting from that? So it keeps you from looking far and wide, just gives them a concentrated place to look. So. And there's obviously a bunch of different topics yep. that they cover. Um, how is that helpful? Well, there are good practices in education. And then there are specific good practices in engineering education. But what I might do in one of my engineering graphics or mechanical engineering technology courses, statics, dynamics, and so on, the way that that is taught is going to be different than the way something is taught in chemical engineering or electrical engineering. And so that way, it ha again, it goes back to helping people focus and concentrate on a specific area of what they teach. And why is that specifically important for an engineering scholarship? If I want to do, you know, if I want to build on my research area, you know, I'm looking at this as a faculty member, not an editor, because I am a, a journal editor. But if I'm teaching a new class or I want to improve what I'm doing in my class, it lets me see what other faculty are doing, what has been successful. And sometimes it's just as helpful to see what hasn't been successful. Help me improve my, my experience in the classroom and also improve the experience that my students can have in the classroom. What is the key to being published in a division journal? Well, actually, um, we, we have a booth here at the conference, and that was the most often asked question I had last night when I was staffing the booth. And a lot of them were new faculty, so how do I get published? And so what I recommend, especially for the division journals, is that they go to the journal's website, read the list of topics that are appropriate to that journal, um, read through the editorial process and how that, because they're a little bit different with the different journals. And then I think most importantly, read articles that have been previously published so you can see the tone they take, the topics they address, and how they approach um, you know, the articles in any particular journal. Really good, important information there, Nancy. Okay, thanks. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.